Um, well, I, I'm an artist, and I'm clearly not an activist. I mean, I'm, I'm an but my main, I'm an artist. Let, no, let me start again. So I can expand that. Yeah. So yes, what I'm, what I do, I make, I do as an artist. But all the work that I initiate or work on is placed within like everyday situations. So my work is not studio based towards a gallery context, but it kind of like exists within everyday places and cultures. So the formats I'm using with are often very familiar to those everyday structures like a shop or a school or a drinks company, um, but they are set up as art and they remain art. It's not important to me whether everybody uses them as art or thinks them as art or sees them as art, um, but it's definitely their origin. And I think over time it becomes obvious to everyone who's involved that a kind of certain messiness and complexity and playfulness is possible because it's art. But I think it's this idea of thinking art through its usership rather than spectatorship. Um, so we, we have this like um, seasonal production. So we, our main trading season is in October. Now is our main picking season. Summer is kind of producing. It's available at our HQ in Barking Park. It's available at a lot of um, public events in Barking and Dagenham. And then it's available at a few kind of art world events. The idea was always that company and the two meanings the word has, that we also kind of symbolize or illustrate the fact that a lot of our production is about social space and being in good company and um, creating this like more cultural, cultural space. But we're also company. Um, but maybe less based on kind of capitalist ideas, but around ideas of community economy. Um, so of course we try and communicate that we produce a lot of different values and we generate a lot of different contributions outside of the purely capitalist.